Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Jordy, and we're back with another reaction. And just filling in this space with some voices. <laughs> me, me, it's me. It's that first listen special, and this could be the start of another discography deep dive discovery. Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me for another video. Today, we are gonna be listening to Kelly Clarkson's brand new album called Chemistry. And I'm really sorry if you can hear sounds outside. There's a lot of construction going on right now, but let's not talk about that. We're here to talk about the other k word, chemistry. It's Kelly Clarkson. Now, this actually came through as a request to start listening to or reacting to some of her work. And I actually don't, I I don't think, I know. I've never listened to a Kelly Clarkson out. Kelly, Kelly why am I having trouble with this? <laughs> I've never listened to a Kelly Clarkson album in full, so I have no expectations. I don't know what we're getting into. I don't know what we are gonna get from the journey. So yeah, everything's gonna be brand new. You and me, we love this. I love doing this with you. It's our thing. Aww. If you love watching these videos, the best way to support me is to give me a follow on Instagram and engage with my content there. I'm a fashion content creator and I post a lot of my work on there, so you can have a look, have a gaze, and give me a follow if you'd like to see more videos. Because giving me a follow there and a subscribe here, is that a, not a sign of support? How cute is my outfit today, by the way? Hey, right, you, you have to see the back, okay? Look at that. I've wasted enough time. Let's just get straight into it. First track on our reaction today is Skip This Part, Chemistry, Kelly Clarkson. Let's begin. Can I skip this part? To pieces back here to start me wow. in time. If I could escape all this hurt and this pain. Okay, if you've watched my other reactions, you know how much I love a first track of an album to basically rip your reality apart in a way. Like, I no longer exist in my world. I'm now in the album world. I'm here, I'm in chemistry. I'm gonna say outro, but the way that it came back in with that really like heavy part and all that layering, that vocal layering in the skip. <laughs> I was listening to it just then and I was like, I, I can't even pinpoint how many things I want to talk about because there was so much going on in a really good way. Like, it, that's not to say like there was way too much going on. Ew. That's to say there was way too much going on 
there was there was the perfect amount going on. There was lots going on so much that it was just like, how do I talk about one specific thing? This is such a good, good, it's such a cool opening track. Where are we going? I remember the user who commented saying that this album is like her divorce album. I didn't know that she was divorced. Um, in fact, I literally know nothing about Kelly Clarkson, so I'm going into this blindsided as usual. Let's keep going <laughs> to track two. Mine. Like you did mine. There are waves, like, just of goosebumps going all over me. There is something so distinctly familiar about this song. I feel like I've heard it before, but I don't think I have. I just, like, what? I, I cannot compute. Whatever is going on, I love it. This is so beautiful. My heart is like weeping. I, let's just press play. Every step I take, I'm losing hope and love and I've lost all in faith. Try again, they cross the line and steal your shine. Like you did mine. Holy moly, one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. I feel like my descriptions about songs are really weird sometimes, but I just felt like I was delicately held and just like shown this story, which hurts like hell. But at the end of the song, she's just like, but you gotta try. Hurts like hell, but you've got to try. Wait, that's a song. Hurts like hell, but you got to try. I don't even know the reason why. Doesn't matter who's right or wrong. Anyway, I can't think of it. Um, that is so beautiful. That is going straight into the hits list. The way that she so delicately carried us through this painful story. And at the end, she's then just questioning like, why do I still miss you? That hurts. That's scary. I also liked how we're in track two and she's throwing out so many questions like she doesn't have the answers yet. She's going through it. This song she must have written while it was things were happening and she didn't have answers yet. And I love that, you know, we're at the beginning of this project and we've got questions. Do we have the answers yet? No. We've got more tracks to listen to. Absolutely fucking love that song. Wow, cannot wait to go into more. Number three, I'm like a kid in a candy store. What the heck? Number three is High Road. Oh my God, this sounds great. Oh, I've got goosebumps already. quickly pause that there. So far I'm really liking this song but I just wish that 
guitar in that chorus was stronger, that da -da 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 -da. I wish it was a bit louder and stronger so we can just kind of be like, Rawr! it's so catchy. Stronger, you have to listen. The bass in this is so nice. High Road. Messaging? So cool. I liked how it kind of went straight into all these questions that I have on going through this motion um, in mine. And then it comes into High Road and she's like, I call my mom. Straight, first thing you do, you call your mother figure or your parental figure and you're like, what the fuck? I loved how we're getting story. She's giving storyline, she's giving plot. But I just wish the musical instrumental elements in that song were bigger because She's got such an amazing voice and it's so strong. I want the music to like keep up with her. She's she's running a mile and the music's like way back here. I, I want to hear them both together. So that's my only like disappointment about that song. Lyrically, I was there with her. Uh, next song is called Me. Let's get into it. Buried myself oh. into somebody else. Oh, the vibrato! Shut out some parts of me, did it so casually. It's all on my face. I guess I needed that. I'm ascending. To be able to step back. <laughs> I lived my life without me. I never loved me. To what? Too much I've had to live for. I put my life on hold for. Took an army to pull me up. Oh my god, the fucking vibrato hits me in my chest! Somebody who feels weak standing next to me. Sing it, girl. Oh. I hate listening to you when you ask me to react to something because then I become obsessed. My whole life gets cooked with all these singers and I just become... I don't have enough room to love any more people. <sighs> I'm going to make room to love Kelly Clarkson because this song was... <laughs> oh my gosh. It was giving everything it was a personal affirmation a promise a proclamation it was so beautiful the beginning her vibrato sent me to 
actual heaven, the sun was shining on my face and I was literally ascending. It's continuing this incredible story of heartbreak and broken promises. Why does it feel so beautiful? When people go through shit and they have no other option to make something, that is an artist. And I've been sleeping on this artist and that is a crime. Lock me up and throw away the key. Hit. Hit. I need to go look in the mirror and I need to mime that song and lip sync for my life. I cannot wait to hear where we're going next. She's threw the questions out. She's called her mum, and now she's made a promise to herself. It's her at the end of the day. It's me. What is the next song? Down to you. Oh! I heard you started running your mouth again. Oh, baby, who are you? Perfect follow-up song to me. The perfect one. Me was like this promise to oneself. It was delicate, it was heartfelt, it was gigantic. But this one was like, no. This is you. <laughs> that felt so good. And you know, while I was listening to that song, by the way, that, that note that she did that, whoa, that felt good. That felt really good. But I, while I was listening to that song, I thought, um, just, really? I gotta make all those sounds while I'm trying to record this? And anyway, don't make me lose my train of thought out there. Um, I've lost my train of thought. Oh. What was it? Oh, while I was listening to that song, I was thinking, this is why albums are so important and it's so good and i don't know why people more people don't listen to them from start to finish they're always like oh hit song single singles no it's the albums that's the best part the story you know they don't just like make some songs and throw throw them into a little project it's about something i really love it that's a hits list that is a bop let's go on to the next track i cannot wait to hear more um, and it's called Chemistry, the album title. You know I'm pretty much the worst with timing. Can you take it all away? Take it back to nothing. Oh my gosh. I don't really trust you and I don't trust me. You know chemistry can sneak up on you.
That was so short. It felt like it was. Oh yeah, two and, a, two and a half minutes. Wow. Even in the first song, skip this part. In fact, these two remind me, are quite similar in a way. Like the structure is like nothing I've ever heard before. I've never heard a song structured like that. It was just unexpected the whole way through. I, I just you just never know where you're going and I like that because it's quite symbolic of the way that a breakup might be you just don't know where it's gonna go next her, her vocal like peaks and troughs I was just like this is so beautiful vocally her skills are very cool but it's so stunning I've had goosebumps in every single song so far what what yeah this is amazing <sighs> What's next? Let's go on to the next track. Favorite kind of high. Take me home tonight. Kiss me how you like. I've been waiting for you. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly pause it there because I feel like commonly on albums, songs are grouped together. As in like, there's a, there'll be like three, two or three ballads and then there'll be like three or four upbeat songs and then we might go back to something a bit more acoustic and then come back up. Mate, we're like ballad hit, ballad, acoustic, bop, ballad bop. And it's, again, it's like so symbolic of this journey of divorce, if that is what it is. Imagine if that's not the thing that inspired this album or created this album and I'm just out here being like, divorce! <laughs> anyway, whatever, whatever. That's what is so great about music. You can take something and you can turn it into whatever you're going through and make it a anecdote for whatever hardship you might be having. That's the incredible thing. It's all about context and you can make it up. You can make it your own. That was high. You're my favorite kind of high. Has she met someone new? Is this where we are in this chapter? Have we kind of like rediscovered love again and rediscovered how good it feels when it is right for us? Whatever, wherever she is at, wherever we are at so far in chemistry, feels good. Chemistry does feel good. Another thing I really enjoyed about that song was that in the second chorus, you can hear kind of that da 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 in the background, kind of like that skipping, transition-y effect. And I think that led back to the first track when it was skip this part and you could kind of hear skip, skip. Minor reenactments today, they're on fire. <laughs> Not. And I really like that about an album when you can kind of, it feels like, you know, like a fashion collection, everything is really cohesive. And if you listen to a song like Out of Order, or if it was on shuffle, you can be like, oh, this is from the Chemistry album. Like it has a particular sound and everything just goes together. I really like that. Love. Let's go into the next track, which is called Magic. Oh! Even though my heart is weak, even when my- I swear, just that dun 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 dun. I thought we were about to go into like this deep R&B <laughs> I 
was like, I was gonna be like, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Even though my heart is weak, even when my arms are empty too, even if I end up used, it doesn't mean I'm the fool. Cause magic takes time, and I've got my sights, and they're set on you. And one day this reminds all your worries, all your doubt. Please believe in me. It's magic. Magic felt like actual magic. <laughs> she has very appropriate song titles for these feelings. I really love the way that she was talking about her love as if it was something like tangible that you could hold and look at and like, you know, admire because it really is. And our love is that powerful. I love it. The way it's almost like you could smell and you could taste it. It just... She makes everything feel so good. And I love that like lyrically we're talking about feeling love again for the first time and she's realizing like this is powerful, this is this is a gift, this is like something that you should cherish and it's magic, like the way that we can feel like this, it's magic. Let's keep listening to find out. <laughs> uh, next track. I'm so confused, lover, did I mistake love and pain? I couldn't hide it. I almost lost all my life. Yeah. I didn't shoot out. That road that always seems to come right back around. Remember oh. we had dreams to fly. Michael Larry. Um, sorry, that was a really beautiful song and I didn't expect to be quite emotional with that, but while I was listening to it and listening to her pain, I could literally feel it and feel what it feels like. <laughs> that didn't make sense, but it reminded me of this thing that I read somewhere once where someone had said that music is what feelings sound like and I could literally feel the pain or some level of it. The way that this track listed is positioned, it's like, it really does feel like the emotional journey where you're one day you're having a good day and it's like, I'm not coming down to your level. The next day you're like, I'm never gonna love somebody again. And the next day you're like, I miss them. And then, you know, it's just, oh, 
Next track is, I don't know, how many do we have left? Oh no, there really isn't that many songs left and that's sad because I'm loving it. So the next track is Rock Hudson. You were my Rock Hudson. Mm. It was real, but it wasn't. This feels like a Kelly no Clarkson song. Saw it like it feels I what you her brand. Like a real life movie. So far. Mm. Happiness doesn't mean smiling. You know, as we get towards the end of the album, that was the perfect song. At the end of the day, it's you. You're the one. It's you, it's always you. You're powerful. Kelly! I knew she had a good voice. Like, I always knew that she had such a stunning voice. But after really, like, experiencing an album, I'm not even finished yet, but I'm like, I stand. I hereby stand. Next track is My Mistake. You would love me always Imaginations acting up again That was so fucking good. I love when you hear a song and there are lyrics that are sung or spoken that sound like a beat. Just before the chorus, she was like having like a da -da 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 that, you know what, that listening to myself do that, it doesn't even sound like what it did in the song, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just that like, you know, you're getting into it, the groove. There was also a note that she hit with her vibrato just pre-chorus that sent waves of goosebumps over me. That is a huge hit to me. That is like, that's that has number one written all over it. I'm obsessed. My mistake, that song. It's in the hit list. Next track, oh gosh, we're in the final three, is Red Flag Collector. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh! Sure, you can have the towels. You can take my money. Drag my name round town. I don't mind, I changed it anyway. What the fuck's going on? Hey! Sometimes it just isn't enough. Tell them all. 
I'm crazy What a nice cliche Blaming me, I guess Some things never change I loved that. I had no idea where it was going. Again, like there's so many structures to songs in this album that I'm like, never have experienced for before. And I wonder if it's a Kelly Clarkson thing, like are these types of like structures of songs, something on her al other albums. I wonder if I should really go listen to them all. Couple of things I want to chat about with that one is um, whistling. So, you know, I don't like whistling in music. I just think it's just why, why do it? Well, guess what? It worked in this one. I'm here for it. I'm going to be whistling that tune. You better wait. And also I love the sound effect when it was like, I don't know, pulling like a gun out of a holster. It was like <laughs> just before the first chorus, lip sync songs and there's like things like that. You kind of want to do it too, so. Great song title, great messaging, such a fun vibe. I think it is kind of, you know, if we put it on the storyline, we're, we're in a space now where we're like, oh my gosh, thank God, see you later. Red flag, red flag, bye. Anyway, the next song is called I Hate Love. Freaks me out a little bit. It's just gonna be a ballad. It's with somebody called, oh, Steve Martin. Steve Martin, Pink Panther Steve Martin. What? I hate love. It's a bitch sometimes. Sorry for using that word, but I only use it when it applies. I hate love. <laughs> Why do you smell so good? You know I love that cologne. Mm. I hate love. Pick my head against the wall. Little by little, you took it all. Love's no friend of mine. Count your blessings. Absolute hit. What a catchy song. I'm shook at how good this album is. Like, what? There was a there was a line in this song where she said, it must be all my fault, or she said, um, I blame myself. No, no girl. It takes two to tango. Yeah, so another one for the hits list. In fact, I feel like some of the ones that we just listened to were in the hits list, and I didn't say that they were in the hits list, but let's just pretty much presume this whole album is gonna be there. Okay, um, was Steve Martin in that song? I didn't really hear him. Did he say like, hello? The final track on the album is now, and it's called, that's right, featuring Sheila E. Never heard of that before, person. Discovering someone new, that's cool. I ain't your little girl. You're confused and I've lost patience. Take your hurt for words. They won't stick and I won't chase them young. You and I really means whatever you want. Turns out I like to do things that you don't, that's right. I like the ocean, that's right. Hey. I my toes and that's right. Oh, 
Let out with the Todd boy. That's right. This part when I fall to pieces. Let's listen to the whole thing again. <laughs> you know what? I literally will as soon as I stop recording this because this album that's right was the final track on the album, and what a great way to like send it out, to finish it, to close on such like a woo, I'm leaving this behind, that's right. You're going out with the tide. And there's another tide coming in and I wonder what it's going to bring. Let's leave it on that note. That's life. So cool. Never heard her sing like that. I have absolutely loved this album and I think it has to be one of the best of this year so far. It's so cohesive and it's so meaningful. Why haven't any of you made me listen to this sooner? Slash listen to any Kelly Clarkson sooner? I loved it from start to finish. I really did. And I'm so grateful to you for making me listen to it and re recommending that I do because I'm a stan. I'm here. What is her fan base called? Because whatever it is, I'm there. I'm in it. I'm in that thing. I'm in that base. I live there now. Um, I've just moved in. I've got a lot of houses now and lots of new fan bases and I'm, that I'm new at, but Happy to be here. My friends, thank you so much for watching this video up to here if you have. I wanna hear what your favorite songs were in the comment section below. I wanted to know what you loved about this album. I wanted to know what you disliked if there was anything. And I wanted to know, I'd like to know if you wanna do more Kelly Clarkson deep dives together. Is that gonna be our next thing once we've finished our Demi discography? Do I go on to Kelly? Because if it sounds anything like this, I'm gonna be loving it. I'm gonna be loving life. Let me know. <laughs> If you like this video, hit subscribe, and if you want to see more, do that, what I just said. And once again, if you do want to support me more, please give me a follow on Instagram, at Mr. Turner. Let's get to it. Let me get editing this so I can get it up and give it out to you. And until next time, Orgy and I, he's dreaming. Little Orgy. Until next time, Orgy and I, will miss you. Bye.